tonight, and people are already starting to come in, grab a seat. It's full now. It's electric. The only word for it, this place is just alive. I was down by the Black Hats dressing room about a half an hour ago, and boy, are they ready. They are ready. Well, this has been an unbelievable series. It really has, John. Uh, the Patriot from uh, Louis J. Robichaud from Chediac, a double-A school, which won the double-A championship a year ago, playing the mighty Black Cats from a huge school, the biggest school in the province, one of the biggest schools in Canada, as a matter of fact, for high schools. Uh, it's just been dramatic. You know, the first game here, 12 to 7, game two, 4 to 3 in Chediac, both Black Cat victories. They're in, in control of the series. They're very optimistic. I think people seriously thought this might be a five-game series. Game three, though, the Patriot down. Three to one, they came back to win that game, four to three. Game four, four to one, they came back. Shetty to tie the series at two games apiece. Game five, maybe the best performance of the year for FHS, especially in this series, anyway. They won that game uh, three to one. And then in a very emotional game that you saw on Cable Town last night, and that's the reason my voice is almost gone, that overtime thriller at the uh, Festival Arena in Chediac, 4-3 for the Patriot. Silvio, uh, Silvio LeBlanc with the game-winning goal, and it set up a, a very dramatic game seven here tonight. Well, there's five bus loads of people here. That's, uh, you figure, that's 45, 50 people per bus. That's at least 250 people here from uh, the Chediac area. They're lined up on one side. This is a throwback to the 50s, a throwback to the 60s when playoff games drew these kinds of crowds. Oh, no question, John. This place is literally packed. This is the biggest high school crowd I've ever I've seen in many a season, like you said. You know, I think the only thing that really compares to the electricity in this rink tonight might be the Ormuck Duff had just uh, a big six semifinal, of course. Uh, that was quite a game as well, quite a series, and that went five games. And that series, sort of very similar to this one, in the sense that uh, the Black Hats, they're just announcing uh, something from the PA here. But it's a situation, John, where the Black Hats were up against it, against Laura Muxley. They were down two games, but now they came back to win that series. And I think that series showed this team as character. And if there was any doubt before that, because they had a pretty easy season, really, winning uh, win the league title 17-3. and three. But that series, they had, they had a gut check in game three. And it got checking game four, particularly being down 3 1 in the third period of that series against Oramaco. And when they won that series, I really thought at that particular time, they thought a provincial title was very realistic. Well, they won two games in one in that overtime game. Uh, by winning the fourth, they won the fifth, I think. I don't think Oramaco had a hope at all in that fifth game. They gave up two shorthanded goals early in, or I guess about the middle of the first period. And that's all she wrote for Armok, so they were game, they played the second and third period, but the game was over after one period. And uh, this game won't be over till the last minute of the third period. I don't think, I think you could look, if uh, the track record of these teams is any indication, you could look for 60 solid minutes of hockey and maybe even overtime. Uh, the last time we went to a provincial high school championship was some years ago when Matt Stairs held uh, the fort here for this team. David Dunn and Nat down in Moncton when they played Matthew Martin, I think. That went into overtime. John, you and I have done many game seven. We've done football championship games for high school. That game that you made reference to at the J. Louis Labac Arena in Moncton against uh, between FHS and Matthew Martin in 1986 was by far the best hockey game I think I've ever seen for excitement, intensity, and for skill level. And, uh, well, was that a seventh and deciding game, or the, that was the sixth game, wasn't it? No, it was a it was, uh, fourth game. A fourth game, game. Oh, okay. But uh, that game was overtime. There's and, the Patriots uh, on the ice. It was something else. And this game here tonight can duplicate that game. Room for a treat. There come the Patriots from Louis J. Robichaud. A double A school named in honor of the former Acadian Premier, Louis de Robichaud. Well, this, this place, you can't hear yourself thinking here. Here come the Black Cats, led by Greg Simmons. 
And well, they should be because this team has been led by Greg Simmons in this playoff. He's a tremendous. You can hear the crowd in the background. There's Simmons. The place is jumping. And we've yet to begin. Game seven. This is for all the marbles. The winner will get the Dog Girl trophy. Symbolic of Chippewa hockey supremacy in New Brunswick. And John, for many of these players, of course, these senior players, this will be the apex of their career, this game here tonight. Well, to this point, of course, many of these players will go on to play junior A, junior B, college. Cheryl Haley will sing the national anthem. like Chicago Stadium here. This place is rocking. And with the play of the National Anthem by Cheryl Haley, who does the Canadian games at the Aiken Center, we're ready for game seven of the provincial AAA High School Championship. The goal tenders tonight, as they have been through the series, Daniel Dupree playing for Louis Dale Abishaw. And their goal tonight for FHS, of course, Greg Simmons. The referee will be Glenn Hurley from St. John, a neutral official here for game seven. George Miles and Mark Nielsen will be working the lines, and John, we're ready to go. And I think that before this final chapter is written, a lot, a lot will depend on the two goaltenders, Dupuy and Simmons. Michael Dahl versus Luke Cormier, and we're underway here in Game Seven. Boudreaux here for the Louisville Robichaud Center, and I see a bump there by Clark, in behind Simmons. We'll play it to the corner. That's more of this prison in behind the goal. And the play is called right off the bat, and that's off the mornings. As you can see there. Well, 2,000 plus has got to be in the swing here tonight. Hockey is a high school hockey is alive and well here in Fredericton tonight. I don't think I've ever seen the anticipation for a hockey game as there has been tonight for this game in this city for many a year in pushing high school almost at any level. Pucks in the corner now. That's still being pumped there. Clark for FHS. Up here to O'Donnell. O'Donnell can't see the zone being bumping on Boucher. Knocks it through the ice to O'Donnell. Now here comes Rudy Robichaud. That's still the LeBlanc. Quick shot off the goal by LeBlanc in the corner. Kept in here by Boudreaux. He's being checked by O'Donnell. Now O'Donnell for FHS. Inside the zone. Here's Michael Dory towards the goal. There's four. That shot is off behind. Oh, I thought that went in. Smothered by Dupuy. And how for a face off. Great chance here a moment ago. We noticed that O'Donnell, once again, John, playing with uh, Troy Small and Andy Clark and Scott Gulletham in between Trevor Lombard and Robbie Stair. Face off to the left of Dupuy. And on the draw control here by the Patriots. Now, Timmy Cormier up along the board. That is uh, the winner of the bump. Now, quick shot there by Shares, brought to the defense by Cormier. Kept in here by Foster to the corner. It goes in behind now. Cormier is bumping there with uh, Gullison. Cormier just plays it over here to push wall. He can't get the goal. Kept in here by Foster to the corner. That's what you're here for. Louis Denham's up here at the winner on. Be a bump throw by Rob Barton. Now, Gullison's checked. 
and here come the Patriots. That's Bourgeois. That red white pass too far for Cormier. It goes in behind Simmons. Now DeWaron is checked. That's Lenahan. That pass picked up by Bourgeois. Set out right here to DeWaron being checked over by Gullison and by Robbie Foster. Now Gullison has it in behind to go here for the Black Hats. Gets it. Two center ice. Where it's gobbled up here by Cormier once. Back in here to the zone once again. Now Foster. Up here to Engelhardt. Engelhardt. Over here to David Deep here for FHS. Deep puts on the brakes. That pass around the stick. Wishart now for the Black Hats. Up into the corner. It goes in behind Cormier now for Louis J. Robichaud. Left it there for a ball. Should be a bump throw by Wishart. Now deep shots to the corner. That's Parks on the right point. We'll keep it in here. By picking up that loose pass here is Cormier. Trying to see Bill Chur hit the Simmons. He plays up on the boards. Now Boudreaux. Boudreaux being bumped there by Parks in the corner. They try to whack away our value for sure as well. And then the for sure has it. All right, right here, quick shot. Saved by Simmons off Jacob in behind now. That's for sure. The play's called. And then that's off his morning once again. What a great chance for a moment ago by Peter Jacobs. Hey, Jacob, Jacob, I think it's a guy they really got to watch in this game because he can motor. Good, good chip for that uh, Patriot line. I'll tell you one thing, John. The rink is packed, and so is the press box. The press box is packed. We've got CBC here tonight. We've got MITV here tonight. It's caught the imagination of this city. Stewart up here to Clark. It's being checked out by Boudreaux. The box in that corner. Bumping on Boudreaux's ball. Stewart coming here by Boucher. Coming out the referee, Glenn Hurley. Now, that's Boudreaux. Trying to see he's still be able to ball. The ball being bumped in the corner by Small. Now, Boudreaux. Finally, Duke through the zone to the Black Hats, all the way down the ice it goes. Well, after it's Boucher here for Louis J. Robichaud. Number two, Brad Boucher gets by Clark. That went up a skate up to Denis Brim. Yeah, that's play there. It's been just a problem with Louis J. Robichaud going That's Small now trying to feed uh, Michael Donald. He now has it in the corner being bumped there by Boucher. Now Small behind here for FHS. Small being bumped there by Boucher as well. Now that's uh, Durant being bumped. Here comes O'Donnell and Luke Cormier. Well, this didn't take long to get started, did it? Well, you know the emotions are very high. Of course, game one degenerated into a, a fracas, a number of fracas. There's a free for all, really, in fact, in the third period of that game. 18 game is gone. That's a uh, smart move by Hurley. He's sending both of them off. That's going to be Luke Cormier, number 15, for uh, Louis J. Robichaud. And Michael Dahl, number 22 for FHS at uh, 3.11 of the first period. Face off will be outside the zone. And that will be Boys Ball versus Gullison. Control here by FHS. Lemon hand now for the Black Hats. We're dumping in behind Dupuis. Who wants to go to the corner on the wear on for Louis Gerard. He's checked by Gullison. Now Legier down the ice it goes. Going well, after his uh, wall here for Louis de Robson, went down, asked his Foster, and it's behind the rest of the world, trying to feed up right the bush wall. Stopped there by Simmons on the short side. It's in behind the goal now. That's the way on here for Louis de Robichaud. The way on, they bump bumped there by Gullison, and went down to the ice. Puck still in that corner, trying to dig it out there, banging it along the boards. That's Stairs, and they finally hold for a face. There's the way with a bit of a shot on Robbie Stairs. But returns the favor for. Uh, Louis J. Robichaud. Stairs, not a person to fool with, uh, as they will find out. And if somebody found out in the first game, I forget which uh, Patriot player, but he took an awful pace. Well, Stairs and as well, uh, Lenahan in that game showed some uh, pretty skillful fist. That shot by the ball in behind the goal. Now Boudreaux trying to see if he is checked out. Now Gullison. Up here to Robbie Stairs, trying to see Lombard. The puck goes in behind Dupree, going after his LeBlanc here for Louis J. Robichaud. A board detector by Robbie Stairs in the corner. Now that pass goes to Tennis, a little bit too far for Jacob. Picked up here by Parks. Parks now went down. Parks, good play there by Stephen Parks to recover and get the puck over here to Gullison. Up to Lombard to the Louis J. Robichaud zone. Tim Courtney overskates it. Now Lombard cannot get the puck out front. And here come the Patriots. That's center ice. That's Boudreaux. He went down, courtesy of Robbie Foster. Now Boucher 
with Jacob for sure. Just inside the line being checked there. Lombard, another Heath Lombard, now finally dug out here by the Patriot. But it comes to center ice. Now David Deep. Deep. Avoid the check, but went down to the chance of right behind over it. Now Boucher over here to Jacob. And had two center ice to go. That's Reynolds. We'll double back in here for uh, I think Justin Wells is stopped. Just a problem with the Robbins off bench. Now here's a breaker for Engelhardt. There's a problem in the corner with Deep and Boucher. The shades of game one. Well, they were intertwined, John. And I think they felt better of it. Yep. I think that if that was game one, that probably would have been a, a pugilistic involvement. But I think they're game seven. I think you'll see a lot of concurrent minor penalties tonight. Yeah. And that's a 457, by the way. Deep and Boucher. But I think John Boucher has been the most aggressive of the Louis J. Robinson defensemen. Yeah. In this series. These guys are still a pretty rough and ready team, though. You know, surprisingly so. Well, Peter Jacob as well. In particular. Is that an outstanding theory for Louis J. Robinson? Face off to the right up to Puy. Now the draw is over here by uh, Louis de Robichaud. That pass picked up all. Chris Paul takes a shot. That's the button to the corner. Now Boudreaux here for the Patriots. He's bumped in by Wishart. Well bumped. And they both went down. Kept in here by Stewart. Into the corner. Went into Wishart. Wishart. Put it first. They go away. First point. And they test. And Hey, you can almost see that coming. Just bad clearing. And this crowd is rocking. 515. The time of that goal. By Brad Engelhardt. There he is on the screen. One goal is not going to win this, but it's a good start. A very festive crowd. Now Good. delirious. Very close to being over the top of the net. He just hit the crossbar and it went down into the net. That's a 5-16 of the period. Engelhardt will get the goal here for FH. Here's a replay on this. Wish Hurt some good work in the corner. They kept it in here with Stewart here in a moment. He fell to that corner. Now Wish Hurt with a move towards goal. There's Engelhardt right there. Just under the crossbar. Well, Wish Hurt really made that play, Dave. Well, he was so aggressive in the corner. He caught the, he forced the Patriot player to count the puck up. Subsequently, Engelhardt with a scorer's touch. One nothing. My voice is about ready to go, and we're in the first turn. Well, hang on. I don't do play-by-play. -play. Now, Small, up here to Clark. We'll dump it to the corner. Clark's bumped there by Legier. Now, O'Donnell. And against Denis Blinn. So now here, back out here by O'Donnell. Just don't want to go and whack away. Uh, that was small. With a chance here for FHS. The puck's in that corner now, though. Hold for a face-up. We're just getting around announcing the uh, rocket penalties. The deep and Boucher. They, they give assist there to uh, Chris Bunn. And Scott Hashey. They might change that, John. I think Richard is over the system there. He definitely does. The same with Stewart. Yeah. He put the puck in the corner. Now fed up right here to small two with skates off. Well, they whack away to Pree. Well, directed to the corner. Now Luke Cormier checking on small. In comes Roger, in comes Michael Donald. Once again. They're getting rather ill tempered in the corner. Well, there's so much on the line for these teams that you want to be controlled, but it doesn't always happen. Face off to the right of Daniel Dupuis. It will be uh, O'Donnell winning, winning the draw here. Bunch will take a shot at the flex to the corner. That one off Andy Clark, I believe. Now Small just sent through the crease. And to the far corner, now LeBron here for Louis J. Robichon. Being bumped up by O'Donnell, now Small in behind the goal. Working well here. He does the clock, but he was being checked. Now the puck was hit to Dupuis once again. And there goes Michael Donald into the goaltender. And Dupuis. Now Clark. Well, and Legere. Hate to see this start quite so early. Well, 
Of course, O'Donnell and Dupuy in game one may have met. They began that uh, focus in game one with a collision. And there was a case where Dupuy got a little frustrated, I think, John. And there will be a penalty, I believe, out of this. Maybe both will be called. I know Clark got a little lab bucket as well. Well, Clark's on the ice, O'Donnell's on the ice, Small's on the ice, Foster and Lenahan are all on the ice, so maybe not. Uh, we'll have to see. I tell you, I think a power play here for either team would be very critical. Well, the Black Hats are surely taking a play to Louis J. Robichaux. That's part of the game. Well, they are, and it looks like the penalty goes to Louis J. Robichaux, Dave. Unless I can't count, it's four over. Four Patriots and five Cats. You play on the penalty. Now to behind the goal, that's Michael Donnell. Trying to see the final picked off here by Matthew Brochure for Louis J. Robichaud. Brochure in with Boudreaux. Brochure in the corner, being bumped. Still not going out. Foster has it. Over here to Michael Donald. O'Donnell now probably gets the center ice. We'll take the long shot caught by Dupuy. And he'll hold for a faceoff. Well, John, that penalty to Dupuy, of course, that's something that Louis J. Robichaud cannot afford to take. A reaction type penalty. They're down one nothing in this hockey game. Well, both these teams have excellent, excellent penalty killing. So I, you know, they're not gonna score every time they get a power play. Face off. Uh, to the left of Dupuy. We're down to 13.25 up to go in the period, first period. Dave Rich up here with John Creaser and our very illustrious Cable 10 crew. Let's talk about an all-star cast. We've got one tonight. Mitch Greencoy in the truck. Anthony Brown, Tim Bothington, Peter Panette, Jason Urquhart, Todd Berry, and Andy Hagerman. Working this game tonight, uh, Joan Gullison, our producer for FHS Hockey. This is it for 1991. The winner wins it all. O'Donnell's got to have a face off and down the ice to go. Lenahan now for FHS being watched by Vauture in behind. Pumped by Vauture's Lenahan. Check out here though by Foster. Robbie Foster in center ice. Power play has just over a minute. That shot is caught by Dupuy once again. Drops it there for LeBlanc. But didn't drop it in time. Once you get a face off. Well, John, it's funny, you talk about the two goaltenders. Dupree's got the style where he'll he will smother almost everything. Whereas Simmons prefers to kick it out. He prefers to uh, keep the play going. I know if that's sort of a, a difference in the style. Well, not only that, but I think there's a slight difference in the teams in that sense that Louis J. Robichaud shoot at the net and rush it. The Black Hats try to set up a play. Face off to left of Daniel Dupuy. I think it's the uh, Patriots had these organized scrambles around the net. And that's where they scored a lot of their goals. And on the face off to go here by Cormier. Can't to the zone though. Hatchie will keep it in over here to Foster. He'll take a shot. Knocked down by Dupuy. Now Cormier, or Jacob rather. Over here to Lou Cormier. Number 15 for the Patriot. That went off. Uh, Hashi felt that one. Now Cormier backhander. Just off the corner to the corner now. Hashi for FHS. He wants by Cormier. Hashi up here to the stairs. We'll dump it in behind the goal. Going after his LeBlanc. Plays it up on the boards. Can't get the zone. Fox will take the shot. Knocked down by Dupuy and off the big board here at the LPR. They have a gray uh, indicate uh, a spot there on the uh, on the board. And if they hit that gray area, of course, it's out of play. That gray area is just the area of the boards that's higher than the glass around the side. Or at the end, I should say. Just trying to get that out a moment ago, John, with great difficulty. Face off to the way of Dupuy. And on the draw, this is Stairs. Stairs back here to hack that shot. Took a funny hop out of the board and got by Dupuy. Well, fortunately for him, there was a defenseman there for Rudy Robichaud. That could have been a major faux pas. Now Foster being watched by Jacob. Robbie Foster up here on Trevor Lombard. With stairs, with double towards the pre. The direction to the corner now stairs. Being watched by LeBlanc. 
Lombard has it in the corner for FHS. Still in the power play. But there's five seconds back here to Hashi. He'll take the shot. That's blocked by Cormier. And it comes out to center ice. Now Parks up ahead to Lombard. He's bumped by Jacob from behind. Puck goes up behind Dupree. Now Luke Cormier. He's in the corner. That's stairs. They're bumped there by uh, LeBron. Now let's into the point here. Parks can't take the shot. That's blocked. And it comes out to center ice. Now Reynolds off the glass inside the zone. Richard for FHS. We're dumping through the corner. Going after here is David Deep. Deep now for FHS. Being bumped there by uh, Tim Cormier. And Deep went down after Cormier. And the hole for a faceoff. Well, there's the line's done some damage over the last five or ten games. That deep line with Wishart and Engelhart. And uh, Engelhart, of course, got the uh, first goal and the only goal so far in this period. Uh, 11 minutes. The goal, 11 and a half minutes, but Engelhardt scored at 5:15, and uh, I don't think that's a major goal because I don't think it's going to be a one-nothing game. But it's better than not scoring the first goal. Reynolds, that shot stopped by Dupree once again. Well, John, this has been sort of uncharacteristic of the last, let's say, maybe four games of this series because the Patriots have outshot the Black Hats in each of those last four games, and they've dominated the last four games territorially. That's right. But tonight's been the other way around. Well, not early. The early, Black the uh, Patriots had a better time on it. The Cats are pumped for this hockey game, obviously, as are the Patriots. Now, wall shot. Stopped by Simmons. Now, DeWaron. That's it through the corner. That's deep for FHS. Deep. He lost it to Wall. They bumped in the corner. That's Reynolds. They bumped there by DeWaron. Now, Wall. That got caught to the skates of DeWaron. Reynolds for FHS. And center ice. He avoids a check. Cormier's pass is picked off here by Engelhardt. Engelhardt will take the shot. That's off the goal. Goes in behind you, free to the corner. That's Legere. The bump there by Wishart. Now here come the Patriot center ice. Engelhardt hits on the ball. Fed to the corner here by Louis J. Robichaud in behind. Now that's Reynolds being checked by DeWaron. He coughs it up here to Parks. He's bumped by DeWaron on the corner. Here comes Wishart. Here comes Engelhardt. And they smother in on the boards and they hope for a faceoff. Well, no question, John, that this line with Engelhardt, Wishart, and Deep have been the disturbers. Well, it's a line. It's a good balance. They, they have offense, but a pretty good defensive line, too. I think consistently it might be the best line they've had in the playoffs. Each well, and every game out. Played well against Armaco. Did they ever? Quick shot there is blocked. And once again, that's the going out. Booger will be a bump there by Foster. And called by Hurley. And I'm not really sure why. Well, I'll tell you, the Black Hats got to be a lot more careful about how they get the puck out of their own end because they're getting hemmed in. And uh, sooner or later, you'll give up a goal if you don't start getting that puck out on a more orderly way. Well, there's no question, John, that they are opportunists. Quick shot there, they right say by Simmons off for sure. That's a case of point right there. Yep. Oh yeah, right off the face off. They're dangerous right off the face off. Now Butcher once again. Another giveaway. The check though, and Clark went down. Curse yeah, Peter Jacob. He's a top kid. A shot there by the year. Stop by Simmons. The rebound goes to the corner. Now Jacob. He's there for Butcher. Be a bump by O'Donnell. Now well, the Cats are very scrambly. Jacob. Can't get the puck out. the point to Legier. Into Jacob once again, trying to feed to the corner. He's being bumped over by O'Donnell. Jacob will carry on though. Try to feed out front. He's being checked over by Lenahan in behind. Now Small checking on Peter Jacob. Was everywhere on this shift. Tucked in that corner. There's Boudreaux. They'll finally hold once again. Comes a time when you gotta just shoot the puck out. If you yeah. ice it, you ice it. But they've been playing with that puck in their own end, and it'll cost them if they don't stop doing it. There's the table tennis scoreboard a moment ago. One nothing. For the Black Hats, Brad Engelhardt with the only goal. There he is right there. One zip. Hey, the Black Hats play the blue line very well, but the Patriots play it even better. Well, John, we got a very interesting guest after the first period, Roy McSorley, who was the head coach of this team in 1978. And in 1978 was the last time they, they won the uh, provincial title in FHS. So very ironic that the coach of that team is in this week here tonight, which is no surprise, of course. No. Simmons will leave there for Stewart. Just ironic. <laughs> now Gullison. 
Break wide pass. Too far for Lombard. Now LeBlanc. Up here to Silvio LeBlanc. One of three in the scene. Plays it behind the goal. That's Boucher. Up here to LeBlanc once again. He is checked though by Stewart. Bumped on LeBlanc. And down in behind that Lombard trying to feed up front. That went off a stick. And flipped into the crowd by uh, Luke Cormier. Well, John Silvio LeBlanc carved out quite a uh, I think did for himself in this series in the last two games. He had uh, the hat trick in game six, which won that game. He had a game winning in overtime, and they won the game four to three. He had the hat trick, and he had a goal before that in game five, and a goal, I think, in game four as well. well. Obviously, a player to be wary of. Well, him and Luke Cormier have been quite a combination here for Louis J. Robinson on this series. Now, Boucher pumped up by Wishart. Chris Funny behind the goal. In here, Engelhardt. Wishart being manhandled by Boucher in front of the net. Engelhardt being checked by Cormier. He plays it in the corner. I have this Boudreau. Up here to LeBlanc. Silvio LeBlanc trying to lead. Cormier does. He'll take the shot to the corner. Now, directly at the center. Right, shot back in here by LeBlanc. He is checked. The player's going to be called on the offside here against Louis de Robichaud. And we'll force the face off. There's Lance and George Miles. Along with Mark Nielsen working this game here tonight. Glenn Hurley from St. John, one of the best officials in the province. And the crowd trying to absorb the Patreon. And we're over here to Chris Mudd. Quick shot. That's brought to the defense by Cormier, who was going down. Did he get to the net? Now, Duran checking on Richard. And boys, oh boys. A collection in along the boards and they're blocked off in that corner by all the people here tonight, John. Well, it's the fifth hockey game I've seen, and I've yet to see one of the Patriots go into the corner first. Yes. It may happen, but not in our life. Very now. discriminant <laughs> when they go in the corner. <laughs> Boy, you're right. Face off to the way of Daniel Dupuis. And on the face-off, it's controlled here by the Patriots, East Center Ice. All the way down the ice it goes. Icing will be called against Louis J. Robichaud. Well, John, there's no question that this, this series has been certainly very interesting. Uh, Kevin Daly talked about the ebb and flow of this series and how emotional it's been. And he told me after game six that it's supposed to be the most emotional time he's ever spent as a head coach. There well, is the bench. Well, Mike Johnson said that they probably go seven, and Mike was right. Yes, he said that in game one when the score at that time was, I think, nine to, or eight yep. to three or something. Yeah, he said they're a better team than what you see. Yep. Mike has been proven a profit, as well as a pretty good hockey coach in his own right. Right down to Dupuis. He'll play off the board. Now, Bourgeois just gave it to O'Donnell. Bumps on Charles Cormier and walks it to the ice to O'Donnell. And now, was your shot. That's blocked by Simmons in the corner. Clark gets it off the referee and kept it here by Legier. Now Cormier is checked by Clark. Now O'Donnell. To Trevor Small. Or Troy Small, rather, back here to O'Donnell. He's pumped. Well, O'Donnell never budged. Now Clark. Behind O'Donnell. Picked up here by uh, Dunnell. Right to Simmons. Lenahan. Up here to ball trying to be O'Donnell's on hunt over Sina Fugger pumped by Clark Jacob off the lineman that will be a delay outside here against the Patriot finally touch Jacob pumping on Lenahan but the plays whistle down we play 13 minutes of the first period one nothing for FHS Engelhardt getting the goal for the black hand from Chris Martin and Scott Hashi Up up the volume, Dave. He's walking. That's called out the face off. Well, I'll tell you one thing, John. Those Patriot fans are certainly very animated, very supportive. I had the pleasure of seeing two of the three games in Shediac, and it was something else. Go hashy now. 
He just dumped it off the stick of LeBlanc, which directed here to uh, Boucher. Boucher had that pass picked up by Gullison, who plays with the corner. Now Boucher once again being bumped. Out there to Bochur for Louis J. Robichaud. Matthew Bochur at center right inside the zone now. Backhander knocked down by Simmons. And he'll hold for a faceoff. I think that the Cats give the Patriots far too much skating room. Well, again, I talked about the ebb and flow, John. Well, the first 10 minutes of this game dominated by FHS, but now the Patriots are starting to move the puck and they're starting to uh, get some chances inside the blockhead zone. On the draw. It's really controlled by nobody. Finally shot down the ice by FHS. No icing. Now Boucher will pick up here for the Patriot. They watch here by uh, Gullison up on the boards. That's Boudreau in full flight with Boucher. Too far for Boucher. The puck goes in the corner now. That stairs where they just did behind the goal. Robbie Stairs, number nine. That pass knocked down by Boucher. And he's bumped for good measure. He gained that not very good clearing. Yeah, knocked down with a high stick by. Matthew Bajor. So, uh oh, they will be outside the zone. Well, the barnyard chant, where have I heard that before? Is back in vogue here at the LBR. Yes, where have we heard that? <laughs> Our friend, 15 miles to the south. Here's your cable stand scoreboard. Engelhardt was the only goal of this game up to this point. This is game seven. And this is for everything of 1991. Cormier being watched by Parks. Bit of a grab on uh, Cormier by Parks. Now Engelhardt trying to just freeze it. The ball in there for Louis de Rubshaw. They funny, no, still in a corner. Obviously, who is they move the puck? Funny, they do freeze it. I tell you, that puck draws more people than a Shriner convention. Good, John. Of course, John had one of the all-time classic to game uh, five. Late in the game with his analogy about putting a ribbon on a pig. <laughs> that was priceless. Yes, <laughs> but not original. I'm sorry to Face say. off to the right of Simmons. Kick back to the point. Legere. We'll keep it in here to Cormier in the corner. Being bumped over. Oh, what a nice goal. Here's a replay. Well, that man has been a black hat killer. That's Sylvia LeBron once again. That guy is unbelievable on the net. Legier, Cormier assisting on the goal by that man once again, Sylvia LeBron. Here comes the chance for Bordeaux. Just too far for him to the corner. Now Michael Dole is checked. Clark will double through the corner. That's Dupree. Up along the boards. Can't get the zone kept in here by Lenahan. About to tell it to Dupree. Very casual. Now Clark. The pickets, John. That's the flexor by O'Donnell. Throw the short side. Stop by Dupree. Now Bucco in behind the goal here for the Patriots. Up here to uh, LeBlanc. So take the long shot to the corner. That's Foster down for FHS. The Pedro on the line change. Foster into the corner. That's pretty going after here for Louis de Abishaw. Up here trying to feed uh, Dewera too far from those stairs. That will be delayed off. So they do for the zone. No, that's here by O'Donnell. Who was dumped by Denis Brin. Because that could have been incidental contact. Well, I'll tell you, that only confirms the feeling I've had all through this series that Louis J. Robichaud has done everything they can to try to get O'Donnell into a fight or, you know, at least draw a penalty involving him. They don't seem to be, uh, you know, too concerned if one of their players goes off, but the thing is, get him off. And he's 
just not falling for that. Well, he's a very disciplined joint. He has to be, of course. Well, he's, he's such a key factor in this, uh, in this hockey club. But he's been a dominant player in the last three or four games. Stewart being watched by Wall up here now to Lombard. Ahead here to Gullison. Gullison with the air cross. Well, pick a shot. Not down by Dupuy to the corner. Now the way up, up and off Gullison. And he comes to as well. Here's a break. I'm off the stand of Wall to the corner. Wall being checked there by Stewart on the board. And that's uh, the way out as well here for Louis J. Robinson. We're blocked off in that corner. That shot there by LeBlanc is deflected in behind Simmons. Now Stewart up here to Lombard. Lombard, that went off the referee's skate, kept in here by DeWeron. Plays it ahead, he's a backhander by Wall just off the goal. Now Stewart in behind, being checked by Wall by Bushwall. They got here by Wall once again, finally checked by Gullison. Here comes number 10, Scott Gullison here for FHS. Sprint wide pass goes to Lombard. Lombard now for FHS being watched by Corbin. Back here to Hash, a quick shot. That was deflected off my ball to the corner. Now Gullison. So double right to the corner once again. That's LeBron here for uh, Louis de Robichaud. Plays it to the far corner where he's picked off here by Tim Cormier. Up on the wing over off a skate. Now Cormier once again, too far for uh, Vauture. Foster, up there to deep. Deep will take a long shot, caught by Dupuy. And on the outside of the Patriot. Three minutes to go in this uh, first period. It's been a game and a half already. Oh, it's been electric, no question. Our cable tank crew, John, to mention it once again. Mitch Greencore in the truck, as always, putting this thing together. We have a producer up here right beside us, very anxious, Joe Gullison. Anthony Brown, Tim Bowden, Peter Panette, Jason Urquhart, Todd Berry, and Andy Hagerman. I'm Dave Richie along with John Creaser. And we're coming to you from a very raucous LBR. 1-1 one, one tie. Now Jacob has it in the corner for the Patreon. Over here to Bochur. Plays the point. They got Boucher back into the corner. I went out the referee once again. Boy, I tell you, that hurts with the way a few times. Now Engelhardt trying to feed uh, deep. Too far for him. Now Blinn will take the long shot. Knocked out by Simmons to the corner. That's Boudreau. Being bumped. Goes in behind. He's going to run ahead now for FHS. Plays up on the board. Jay goes to the tonight. Shot back here by Blunt. I went off. Hang her. Now Boudreau. Well, take the shot. Kicked away here by Simmons. And here's Mother. And hold for the faceoff. Well, on balance, it's been a pretty even period. Ebb and flow. One team's dominated. The other team's dominated. But by and large, it looks like about a 50-50 here. Well, it'll be interesting really to see the shots on goal here. Here's a chance for a moment ago by Boudreaux right there. And they stop there by Simmons on the replay. Shouldn't be a big difference in shot no, goal. No, shouldn't be, no. Back to the corner. That's Wall going after Stewart. They jostle. Now here come the Patriots. Or the Black Cats. That's Stewart now with control. Up here to O'Donnell. Checking on Boudreaux. Now Boucher hopped over his stick. Number two, Claude Boucher here for uh, the Patriot. Feeds the ball. Well, here comes a two on one. Corbin over here to Boudreau. Boudreau. Pass the puck off by Clark. It's being checked over by Cormier. Now Clark once again. At the puck waffle. Luigi Robichaud player. Andy Clark. Long pass here. Too far for Odell. Now Blue will pick up here for the Patriot. He just gave it to Clark. Andy Clark trying to be small. And was knocked down by Blue. Over here to LeBlanc, feeds it to the corner. Now Hashi here for FHS. Got Hashi up on the boards here to uh, Small. Rick wide to O'Donnell with Clark. O'Donnell towards the goal being checked by Legier and bumped by Cormier. Now Boucher just up to the center ice. Went ahead over here to Foster. Up ahead to O'Donnell. He's checked by Bourgeois. Who lost the puck here to Small, but on the ice that was Clark. And the play's called. Well, Louis J. Robertson, as the team, seems to be better at finding the open ice than the Black Cats do. There's a Black Cat bench. Get some very interesting spectators up here, John. Got uh, Lockhart and Mike Simmons looking at the monitor, looking for a particular play. 
No they replay. They don't replay everything. That's right. <laughs> just the goals, gentlemen, just the goals. And the big teams, of course. And there have been many in this series. I think uh, Greg Simmons, John, has certainly put his game up a notch in this series. And uh, Dupuis, after a shaky first game, has played pretty well in his own right. Oh, Dupuis, if, if, I, if I have any knock on him at all, is that he often doesn't get off to a good start. It well, reminds me of McLean that played for Chatham, was it? That first game was an abortion anyway. I mean, yeah. we had 18 game misconducts. We had uh, over 300 minutes of penalties. And it was the first game of a series. They, had, they hadn't played each other all season. And we sort of, you know, we really didn't expect the fisticuffs. But that's not an atypical type situation in the first game. You know, you're feeling everybody out. This is Robbie Foster. We're shaking up. That's why the delay here. But now that you've gotten to know these to know these teams better, you can see how game one happened, because yeah. they're both short-tempered. But they both play very physical, and uh, people yeah. like Boucher and Jacobs in particular for uh, the Patriot, of course, Stewart, O'Donnell, Hashi for FHS, even people like Andy Clark and uh, some of these who are more uh, finesse-type players are being very aggressive in this series. It's very contagious. Bochor, I had here the Boudreaux. Boudreaux. It's being checked by Hashi and by uh, Gullison now for FHS. We're, we're under a minute here to go in the first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Gullison towards the goal being checked by Jake. Now Gullison trying to feed up front. That went on the skate. Now Brochure here for Louis J. Robichaud. Brochure, quick shot just off the goal. The rebound controlled by Jacob. It's bumped by Lenahan in the corner. Here comes Gullison as well. He wants to freeze it. He is dumped by Jacob. Well, Jacob's got an awful shock. He suddenly realized he'd gone into the corner first. I'll tell you what, they John, they just announced a 50-50 ticket on sale. Well, it will be a bounty tonight, believe me. I've got six tickets. It will be. It will be, to be sure. They had to send out for more tickets. I've got my fingers crossed, my feet crossed, the whole thing. That's as much for uh, a good result here as well, of course. Not that we uh, are rooting against Louis J. Robichaud, John, but of course, this is FHS hockey. Yeah, I was going to say, this is not Patriot hockey here on Cable 10, but they put on a tremendous series of the Patriots. Quick shot, they saved it by Simmons. And it's been highly entertaining stuff. Now the puck's in that corner. They still jostle. Finally, the Black Cats beat it across that year to Hashi. Up to Clark, off his skate, though. Now Bourgeois in front here, Wall backhander, they stopped by Simmons. Wow. Now Bourgeois checking on the clock the and that's the period, and O'Donnell, Ashley, knocked down a Louis DeRosa player. 10-10 shots on goal. Can be very appropriate, John, the score being 1-1. Oh, it's a pretty even period. I didn't know it was quite that even. But they'll have done the bridge in the corner involving Michael Donald and Jacob. And those two have met on occasion in this series. Well, I think they're two of the premier players on these teams. So we will have, in a moment, Roy McSorley. Of course, Roy coached this team in 1978, the last time they won the Provincial AAA Championship. Indeed, we'll have to ask about some of the players in that team and, and uh, who they beat, how they got there. I think with my voice being so bad, maybe John Creasy can handle this interview if well, he doesn't mind. I don't mind handling some of it, but if I die, step in. I don't mean literally, but uh, figuratively. So in a moment, we will have Roy McSorley. The goal for that period for uh, FHS, of course, Brad Engelhardt from uh, Deep and Hashi. And then for uh, the Patreon, it was... Uh, Silvio LeBlanc from Legier and uh, Boudreau, I guess. Yeah, I have Boucher, but I think it was Boudreau. No, I'm pretty sure it was Boucher, John. That's what I, I just can't read your writing, that's all. Oh. <laughs> There's some of the gathering here. It's a big crowd on hand, as might be expected. This place is 2,000 plus, I would imagine. But this, this crowd, John, the last time I saw a crowd this big, it was St. Thomas University playing the uh, University of Moncton Blue Eagles in 1988 for the AUAA championship. 
You sound like a guy that might have counted the crowds for the old world football league. Boys, I'll tell you. Somebody stepped in front of that camera. That night was really something special, that game. Of course, that series was. You and I did game two well, in Moncton. Well, that that's a, right. That was right. one of the most unforgettable games that we ever did. We were right in the crowd, right behind the Moncton bench, and uh, in amongst a uh, number of spectators from the Moncton area. And out of the horn, I would have killed if I hadn't had the headset on. And here's a commentating crew from Fredericton for St. Thomas doing that game, and uh, right in the middle of, uh, of the enemy, so to speak. Well, that was a heck of a series, and uh, maybe a high point in the... Uh, I've just been informed that we've got, uh, I haven't got a whole lot of time left to go in this first period uh, tape here. We do have Roy McSorley scheduled. So we'll try to make this very brief if we get Roy on the screen. So we'll hang tough. What a hockey game, John. Pretty good start. Not really surprising. I thought they were a little bit tentative at the beginning. Not for long. But they picked it up. Of course, Engelhardt's goal, I think, really sort of uh, typified the first four or five minutes for the Black Hats. They dominated the first four or five minutes. But then the Patriots, as they have in the entire series, came back. Now I see Roy McSorley on the screen. And once again, his headgear, I will be ready to roll. On your head, Roy, please. We're running out. Roy, can you hear us? I got you, Dave. Okay. In 1978 was the last time the Black Hats won the championship. You were the head coach? That's right, Dave. Uh, tell me about that uh, that team. I think that was probably one of the, the better teams in the history of Fredericton High School. That year we lost only one game, and that was in the semifinal against Cora Musco. And uh, we had some good hockey players there. Marcus Hodgson, uh, John Benton, Leo Kane was the captain that year. Tommy Amos was uh, on defense for us. You know, a lot of lot of quality hockey players there. Rolly, who did you beat in the finals, did you say? We beat Moncton High School Purple Knights in the finals. The final game was played here, and uh, we had a similar but uh, not quite as uh, good situation as the team here tonight with the ice time with figure skaters and that sort of stuff. And unfortunately, we had to play at a bad time, small crowd and so on, but uh, it certainly didn't take the edge off the victory. How would you compare that final game to the first period of this one? Uh, actually, we uh, in the final, uh, I don't think there was much question when we were up against uh, Moncton that year after the first game that uh, we were going to win. And we swept the series, and, and uh, we beat them quite convincingly in the last game. I think the score, if I remember properly, is 7-2. Well, I've got to ask you, uh, are you surprised that, that it's been that long since the Black Hats have won a title? since 1978? Yeah, I, I really am. I think uh, Kevin over the years has done a, a real good job with the team and there was a few years that he, he was up against uh, Matthew Martin who sort of had a mini dynasty going there and but for a couple of breaks in those years they, they would have won championships in those years. I think it's uh, uh, a little bit of misfortune along the way that has caused them not to win, not so much as, as lack of effort or lack of talent. Just those types of things where you don't get the breaks. Well, I've got to ask you, have you ever seen a high school crowd as animated as this crowd here tonight? Uh, not for 13 years, that's for sure. Uh, I think uh, I think back to uh, the years when uh, oh, uh, Doug Kane coached the team, and I, uh, Wayne Hallahan, Mike Berry, my brother Bob was on that team, and, and I think they had some crowds that were as, as animated and excited as this one. But it's been, a, it's been a, a long time since I've seen crowds like this at a high school game. Rolly, would you say, how good is this Black Hat team this year relative to some of the teams that you've seen in the past? Uh, David, it's hard to compare over a long period of time. I think, uh, uh, you know, when you see a team that has had the, uh, the type of year that the, this team has, uh, I don't think it's really fair to compare. I, I think uh, to get to the final in any year, you have to be good. And uh, I don't really like to make the comparisons. They've got a good team this year. Okay, Rolly, thank you very much. Okay, Dave, thank you. Okay, our guest has been Rolly McSorley, the head coach of the last time that the Black Cats won the championship in 1978. Period number two. In the okay, welcome back to the LBI. Dave Richard here with John Creaser. And in a moment, we'll have the team make their appearance for period number two. It's 1-1 one, one after one. He of game seven between the Black Hats and the Patriots. Engelhardt's going for FHS, of course, and uh, 
This Sylvia LeBlanc, John, has been such a sniper for the Patriots. Well, he's been a cat killer. You might say that. <laughs> and so far, so good for my voice, John. I tell you. Or you may be asking, you may be doing your interviews in sign language when this is over. We did game six in Chediac. I was right in the crowd for that game. And another experience the noise level. Well, I'm glad we're not sitting in the crowd tonight, I'll tell you. Until today. There's a sample of what we're hearing here tonight. And that's only one side. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's the level of a jet plane in here, I'm telling you. Yeah. And we're above this. Uh, if we were in it, it'd be definite. Well. And here come the black hat. To a course of pools from the Chevy side. And to a cascade of tears from the FHS side. You got Todd Bay up here from the Cable 10 crew is up here now for the second period. Tell you, I've never seen so many people, John, I haven't seen all year in this week here tonight. You know, we got the CBC from Moncton in this week tonight. Strange that they have to come all the way to from Moncton to have this game covered. <laughs> but the local crew decided not to do it. Yeah, but we got the network that counts. Table 10. Yeah, no question. There's the referee, Red Hurley. Well, as this game moves on, it will become more and more tense. So we're ready for period number two in this 1-1 one -one game here in game seven. LeBlanc over to Boucher, back to LeBlanc. Up the way to LeBlanc, Sylvia LeBlanc. Two LeBlancs on the ice. To begin the second period here for Louis J. Robbie Shaw. The puck to the point now. Clark is checked. Stewart gets it down the ice here for FHS. And that will be icing call here against the Black Cats. So the face off will come down to the right of Greg Simmons. And up there for FHS. Michael Donald, so, uh, Troy Small, and Andy Clark on the line with Hashi and Stewart. Luke Cormier, Silvio LeBlanc, Yves Boudreau. LeBlanc, Charles LeBlanc, and Boucher for the Patriot. Boucher has it to the corner. That's Stewart for FHS. Trying to feel drawn out pass to pick up by LeBlanc out to the corner. That's Stewart went down. LeBlanc checking out Luke Cormier. Now Sylvia LeBlanc being bumped there by Hashi in the corner. Leave there for Luke Cormier trying to see how far the pass picked out there by Clark. Over here, Small. Troy Small said he's going to be able to play very nicely by Boucher. Now the puck's in the corner. That's Boudreaux being checked by Clark and by Small. They got here by Clark. Clark trying to see O'Donnell behind him. Now O'Donnell set out going once again. That's Clark. will take a shot. Stop by Dupuis in the corner. Now Small. Is checked and here comes the Patriot. That's Cormier. Take the long shot over off the Black Cat player. Now Clark is pumped. And Boudreau went down. Now the puck's in the glass. O'Donnell trying to see out front. Couldn't do it now. Sylvia LeBlanc here for Boudreau. Well, sure he's dumped there by Clark. The puck's in that corner. And Boucher bumped there by Michael Donald. But no harm done. Face off to the way of Daniel Dupuis. Well, another good uh, shift by O'Donnell. He just uh, gets things going out there for the old black cat. He's the top cat, I guess. Ryan Creese on the goal. Does exchange your notes with our director here tonight, Mitch Greencorn. Boss will take a shot, knocked out by Capri to the corner. Now Lombard, he had bumped there by Legier. Dug out by Gullison. Checked out by Boudreau in behind. Boudreau went down. It's got a hold of Gullison's stick. Great. 
Gets the move there by the Louis J. Robinson play now. Jacob. He spun around the blue line, dumped the center ice by Faye Chess. Now Lenahan here for the Black Hats. Number two in behind me, watched by Boudreau and by Jacob. Lenahan just gave it to Boudreau. Trying to be Boudreau picked off here by Bobby Foster. Rick wide to Lombard. Lombard center ice. Be a bump there by Boucher. Or check out by Tim Cormier. Now set to the power point. That's Boudreau now for the Patriots. For Chura center ice. In with Jacob. For Chura turn the field to Jacob. Push up and score! Oh, what a lovely play. Unfortunately, you can see that one coming. The 215 mark. That is first ball. Here's a replay. Boys ball right there. He beats Simmons high the back side. 2 1, Patriot. Renee Bourgeois, number 22 with the goal. Well, I'll tell you, this Patriot team has an advantage. They break out quicker than the Black Cats do. Boys sure on the assist on that goal by Bourgeois. 2-17 of the period. 2-1 for the Patriots. Now the Blackcats. Whistler. The shot by Mike's block in the defense. It's in behind the goal. That's Cormier being pumped there by Wishon and by Engelhardt. Now Bourgeois. Beats the winner on it. Center ice. Trying to be wall. Trying to get the three goals to first wall. Towards the goal. Knocked off stride there by Park. And dumped by Stephen Park. Now Engelhardt. Can't control. The puck goes to center ice now. To where on. I went off the headgear of Engelhart. Park, trying to do Wishart. Shot back in here by uh, Louis de Robichaud. Now Parks, He's trying to uh, get the two of his own, can't do it now. Once here's Parks this time, once again. Parks, for FHS, will dump it through the corner. Down through here's Chris Munn. Munn now is bumped there by Boucher. And Engelhart comes in there as well. And that is uh, Luke Cormier can't clear. The puck's in that corner now. Boucher it plays up along the board. And it comes to center ice now. That's Reynolds. We'll double back in here for the Black Hats. Dupuy will leave there for Blinn. Number 16, bump by Small. Now Luke Cormier. That's center ice. Cormier, wrist shot, knocked out by Simmons in the corner. Has to be a bump there by Cormier and by LeBron. Fit to the point and comes outside the zone. Now Blinn plays ahead here to Cormier off his stick in the corner. That's Hashi now for FHS number three, being watched by Luke Cormier. Over here at the clock, he's defense for the boys to center ice. Now Blinn up and over his stick. Here's a pressure for O'Donnell. Mike O'Donnell! Nice save by Dupuy on the short side. Shot by Clark is smothered by Dupuy. They walk away at it. Call by Hurley. Big save by Dupuy on that one. And Number 31, Dupuis, he robbed Michael Doyle on the short side a moment ago. And he's shaking up there, he's on number 31. Tell oh, you, yeah, sometimes I think it's as hard to play a goal up as a goal down because you, it's an awful temptation to, to sit on a lead, even if it's only one goal. Dupuis is still down. Well, that would be a tragic loss if he's hurt. Yeah, he made a big stop here on Michael Dahl a moment ago. Well, Dupuis said, uh, what a story, John. He got down, he's going to figure. Of course, Dupuis uh, was injured during this season, apparently. And Jeff LeBron, the much of the goaltending for Louis J. Robichaud in the playoffs. Of course, Dupuis played for the provincial team at the Canada Winter Game. He's going to see why. Now Legier, trying to feed Vauture, picked off here by Small, plays him behind the goal. That's LeBlanc. Kept in here the point by Hash, just the flexor through the corner. Now the Patreon. Final two, there's only the pressure for Vauture, goes all the way down the ice. Hash going after Vauture, goes in behind the goal, that's Boudreau now for the Patreon, being checked by Hashi. Now fed to the corner, that's Small for FHS. Can't get the goal. That's right to Simmons. 
threw it without a stick. He broke his stick. Just kicks it ahead to the front. Bob trying to create his own can't do it. Now Hashi. Deer comes in as well to help out. Hashi's trying to freeze it. In comes back as well, and they will. Well, John, I'll tell you, the Black Cats are playing very nervous now. Well, looks like the Patriots are just taking the play to them. Very dangerous team, this Patriot team. They uh, very precise passing. They break out faster. They seem to catch the Cats somewhat flat-footed on a quick break. And just like in basketball, the fast break hurts the Cats right now. The Cats they, cannot get out of their own end as quickly as uh, the Patriots do. They stop the way of Simmons. Bourgeois versus Dawson, one here by the Patriot. A shot by Corleone, that went off the stage to the corner. Now Robbie Stairs gets it out to center ice. Boucher being checked right at the line by Gullison. Shot back in here by DeWare, but on the outside are the Patriot. Number five, Wall, was inside the black head zone. We should mention, John, this uh, Patriot team. The head coach is Pete Faldo, suspended after game one for the series. Mike Simmons. The co coach for FHS, suspended after game one. Both have not been behind the bench for the uh, last five games of this series. Kevin Daly, the head coach, doing the uh, coaching solo here for FHS. Ricky Papineau and uh, Luke Bichol for Louis J. Robichaud doing the coaching. Now Gulf may bump there by DeWayron. He comes back with a bit of an elbow on DeWayron. We didn't appreciate that. They're gone. Here come the six once again. I'll tell you, Fox came in with the elbows up. And DeWaron got the full brunt. Well, Boston plays a rough, tough game, and that, that should work against them in a very tightly officiated game. But uh, tonight, early seems to be a lot of, a lot of play hockey. There's your cable 10 scoreboard. Two to one for. The Patriot from Louis J. Robichaud. And on the draw, that's Poudreau. Plays it behind the black hat goal. The ball. He has checked the puck rolls to the corner now. Stairs gets it to center ice. Flynn. He's up right back in here for the Patriot. Now Lenahan in behind for FHS. Darren Lenahan. Just nets it up and down the ice to the center ice area. Now LeBlanc shot. Here's a play for Gullison. We'll take a shot. Stopped by Dupuy in the corner. Now Stairs. Puck goes in the corner. Gullison bumping on Blinn. In comes uh, Stairs. Went over those two players. Puck still in that corner. Now funny that guy here by the Patreon. Here they come. That's Poudreau. That shot is went off a stick to the corner. Now that player went down. And here comes Gullison. Well, just dump it to the corner. It goes in behind you, please. LeBlanc will pick up now for the Patriot. Up here to Luke Cormier. He's just by Foster. And will dump it to the corner. Simmons will leave there for Wishart. He's bumped in behind by Peter Jacob. And they both went down. I tell you, this Jacob's a pretty feisty guy, John. He is. Now, Cormier. He just gave it to Wishart. Wishart will take the shot, now has control, trying to feed up front of Mudd. That was redirected by Dupuis to the corner. Now in behind the goal, that's Tim Cormier. Up along the glass, to Bouchure in full throttle. Over here to Boudreau. Boudreau will take the shot, that was blocked by Park. Puck's in that corner now. Now Bouchure checking on uh, Mudd. Bouchure has it in the corner, he's finally checked by Parks. He gets it to center ice to pass Legere. Looks right to Dupuis go for a skate. Plays up here to Boudreaux. He was bumped right by Parks at center right. Now shot back in here by F.A. Justin Scott Reynolds. Now right by to Cormier up here to Vauture. Nice play there by Reynolds. And the pitcher on the line change. Now Parks in behind here for F.A. Justin, number 12. Parks up to Engelhardt Lost. Oh, quick shot. That was blocked by Bushwall, his own player. Now fed through the crease at Small. Can't get his own captain here by Cormier. That shot. Knocked down by Simmons. And flipped out and down the ice by FHS. That's going to be icy call here against uh, the Black Hats and John Creaser. They're back on their heels. You can see it. It's written all over them. Yeah. Again and again. It's a brown wave from Shediac coming towards the Black Hat net.
This team is just so persistent. And they'll just beat them through the puck. That's the uh, basic rudiment of hockey is to beat them through the puck in the corner. That's what they're doing. Face off, controlled by O'Donnell, by uh, acclamation more than any hill. Nobody wanted the puck. Set, set to the corner here, now small. Get bumped there by Wall. Now pass it towards the left, deflected by O'Donnell to the corner. Now small. I'm trying to see out here the clock. He was checked though. Now Wall gets it up here to Dewaron. Two points, Wall. Over here to Dewaron being checked though by Hashi. Now Stewart will control here for FHS. Brent Stewart will dump it in behind Dupuis. Will leave it for LeBlanc. He's bumped. Now the Patriot can't get his own, kept in here by Stewart. Now set just a five to go. That's the well with Clippers over and down the ice off the line, but and that will be icing called here against Louis J. Robichaud. Well, John, we played exactly 8.52 of the middle period. As might be expected, this game was expected to be close. And it is close. Two to one here for Louis J. Robichaud. Tell you, after the first two games, I wouldn't have given them much chance to ever see a seventh game, to be honest. Yeah. But this team has changed my mind. A uh, much better team than I thought they were after the first two games. I guess that's understandable. They lost the first two games. It was interesting, though, John. I talked to Luke Michaud, one of their assistant coaches. He said that he thought the key to the series was game two. Now Gullison. Gullison at the side of the goal, spin around off. And it got by Stairs out of the point by Lennon. Stopped by Dupuis to the corner. Lombard to Gullison, trying to play a little tic tac toe. Comes in front of the goal. It's a funny hop. Here come the Patreon now. Foster, punt. Good now play the by Foster there. Well, he had a time now perfectly. Otherwise, it's interference. Or, or a breakaway. Now LeBlanc will dump it in behind Simmons. That's Foster. Up here to Stairs. Ahead to Gullison. He's checked, shot back in here by the Patriot. In behind Simmons, we'll leave it for Lenahan. Lenahan being checked by Cormier. Foster. Robbie Foster, number four, will dump it in behind the goal. To the far corner, that's Stairs. Over skates, picked up here by Gulson, behind the goal here is Stairs. Stairs trying to see that front of the way off to Puy. Now Bouture. Comes down the other end here for Rui de Rumshaw. We're going to take this shot. Stop by Simmons. Oh, big play by Greg Simmons. What a chance there. Stopping dribble off the end of Greg Simmons. And almost in the net. Well, that was a better game, better chance than it should have been. I'm not sure if we have a replay on that or not. Stopping dribble off the arm of Greg Simmons. And that shot by Matthew Bouture. Face off to left of Greg Simmons. Could have been dangerous there a moment ago, John. The score being two to one. And on the draw, it's in the corner. Stewart. They went by Boudreaux up here down to uh, O'Donnell's pass picked off. Now Clark is bumped by Jacob. Fed in behind the goal. That's Boucher over here to Jacob. Plays it ahead of, oh boy, Stewart just leveled. Number 18, Boudreaux. Just leveled him, it's Brent Stewart. Stewart will dump it to the corner now. Played it behind Dupuis, that's LeBlanc. He nice to pass up along the boards to Jacob, he's being bumped in behind now once again. That's smallest time. Pass picked off by Jacob. Up ahead to Boudreaux. Two on two, Boudreaux is going to put on the break. It's by Small, which will take a shot. It's over! No, no goal. Patriot player in the crease when that was shot, which was a bad break for the Patriots. Very critical, John Cooper. 
Well, most teams have great comeback ability, so hey. Well, here's a replay of this. Here comes the shot. And we didn't see the uh, play on the night. There is just the end result. There's Simmons and Bochua in the corner. There's no question that player was the streak. Jacob. Jacob. And on the faceoff now, that's Legier. We'll just see it to the corner. Simmons will leave it behind the goal. That's just fed by the goal. That's Bush Wall. Pass is knocked down here by David Deep. Deep up ahead here to uh, Wishart. He's checked all by Charles Cordae. He's bumped by Foster. Flat by Foster. And carried up by Robbie Foster. It's Cordae. Now Flynn up here at the wear on. He just dumps the center ice shot back into my left hand to the corner. That's Legier now for Louis J. Robichaud. Legier up around the boards trying to feed Cormier. Cormier has it. Brings right over here to Blinn, up here to Dewaron. Dewaron feeds Bourgeois. Bourgeois now being watched by Deep. Now Foster just plays ahead here to David Deep. And that's offside call here against Louis J. Robichaud. And Engelhardt was dumped here. The touch of play was blown dead. That kind of been the rise from the Louis J. Robichaud supporters. 2 1, period number two, game seven. Just a sea of humanity across the ice from where we're sitting. Yes, indeed. You can see, John, just above those players, that side of the rink is literally jammed. They're crammed in, and every corner of this rink they're crammed in. Well, it's this way on the other side, too. But yeah. You just don't see it. Cormier will take a shot on the blocker of Simmons. Stewart, get right to Cormier. Back in and stop by Simmons once again. You, you know, you don't want to do that too often. Well, John Davis just the Blackhead defense is just having all their problems because of the persistent point picking on the Patriot. Now Stewart will regroup at center ice. Inside his own goes Brent Stewart. Plays it behind to Puy to the corner. That's Lombard. Feeds it in here to Gullison. Now Gullison was spun around. Lombard in behind the goal. Lombard in the wraparound. And comes out probably going down the edge of goal. Now Hash here for FHS. Up on the wing. And dumped in here. Here's a break here for Lombard. In towards goal spun around over there nicely by the uh, Tip Cormier. Now the puck's in behind the goal. That's Lombard and Cormier. Dug out here by Bugio. Up ahead. He's in the race. That's uh, Bouture. Quick shot. Caught by Simmons. Rebound. Controlled by Greg Simmons. He, know, he didn't know where it was. No. Nope. So he fell down. A post on it. Once again, John, some officiating got up here in the press box. Face off to the left of Greg Simmons. Hey, the Black Hat's going to have to tighten up that defense or it's going to kill him. Yeah. Well, you have to give credit to the Patriots. Well, they're just four-checking the Black Hat. Well, because they're making the Black Hat play their game and uh, hard to... Well, they're forcing... You can't do what you want to do. They're forcing the Black Hat to come up off the puck in the, uh, into the defensive zone just by good four-checking, good persistent four-checking. Now, O'Donnell is checked. Here's a break here for Clark to take to Dupuis, though. O'Donnell! Wow, he was pushed into the goal. Well, to Dupuis, and they've met before. Well, that's not O'Donnell's fault. And they'll probably meet again. Yeah, he was sort of bumped off. As they tried to make the move towards the net, John was bumped and hit to the ice. I'll tell you one thing, I think Daniel Dupuis knows Michael O'Donnell pretty well at this point in this series. Now he's talking to Glenn Hurley as uh, Dupuis. You can see it at the top of our picture there. Should mention our cable tank crew. Mitch Greencorn in the truck, Anthony Brown, Tim Bosnick, and Peter Panette, Jason Urker, and Todd Berry, and Andy Hageman working work this game here from the LBR. I'm Dave Richard along with John Greaser, and the producer, Joe Gullison. The Patreon ahead 2-1. to one. Jacob in towards the Peter Jacob in behind the goal now. Beats the point here to the wrong. Into that corner once again, that's Boudreaux for Louis J. Robichaud being bumped over by Foster. 
of Gullis to try to play ahead. Back to the court once again. That's Foster and Boudreaux. Small for FHS. Small can't clear the zone. Now Vorture. Foster up ahead here to O'Donnell. That pass is picked off. And jumped up the center ice. And the crowd screaming because Vorture was dumped. That's going to be icy calls here, I believe, against uh, Louis de Robichaud. But a moment ago, John, the Patriot side was screaming. Well, you'd think those crowd never seen anybody get hit before. Because uh, Boucher was dumped to the ice. There's part of the gathering from Shediac. Curb in the Shediac attire. The Louis de Robichaud attire. Chocolate Brown. I guess after the second period will be Mark Jeffrey of UMB. Now, it's dumped on the ice here by uh, Louis J. Robinson. I went to Simmons. Well, watch Hashi pick it up. It's in the corner. Hashi plays it over here to uh, Stewart, who avoids a check. Now, Mike goes after for FHS. Leaves there for Stewart. He's up, who's wall? That's the simplest in the corner. Now wall, that was trying to go. Now Hashi has it, he's being checked here by Bourgeois by the way on. I think he's being held, basically. And up back inside the zone here by Louis J. Robichaud. Simmons, over here to Brent Stewart. Stewart now, I had to Chris Munn. Probably a bump though by Boudreaux. Then in behind the goal, that's Blitt now for Louis J. Robichaud. He's bumped by Engelhardt. Here comes Chris Munn, it's in behind the goal. Dang out here by Boudreau. Feathered pass to Luke Cormier. Cormier now for the Patriot with Silvio LeBron in the corner. The ball being bumped over by Stewart. Dang out here by uh, by Boudreau. And Engler can't get the goal. The ball takes a shot. They score! <laughs> 15 12. The time of that goal. By the Patreon. I don't know exactly or even how they got it, but it's a replay. Well, that shot was deflected, I believe, from the blow from the left point. And what to give John a very careless play. Boozer will get it. Boozer will get it. Use Boozer number four from Charles LeBron at 15-12. Uh, and there, there's a very concerned black cat bench. For good reason. Well, it has come. That check time for FHS. Well, the Blackcats usually win their games in the second period, but they're losing this one in the second period. And it's, uh, well, I'll tell you, in, in sports, speed kills. And this team is faster than the Blackcats. And it's really hurt the Blackcats yeah. at times. It really has. And they forced the black edge into mistakes. Yep. And speed does that. And that was a classic and case there. And there's another one, another it, example of that. They, they tried to clear the puck, John, and they gave it right to LeBron, and subsequently they scored. So they have 3-1 now on the Patriot from Shediac. Look at the win the AAA championship after winning the AA championship a year ago. Full chore. Being checked by Lana and Vorture towards the goal. Pass the goal here by O'Donnell. Gets the can't get the goal. Kept in by LeBron to the corner. That's Bruno quick shot to the corner. Vorture now. They're bumped by O'Donnell. They got by Jacob. He's bumped by O'Donnell. Now small. He's checked by Jacob. Now O'Donnell just gave it to uh Vorture. He's locked out by O'Donnell. Even O'Donnell's starting to have that problem. Yeah. Mature. They're like parcels now. Yeah. 
Talk about a team that smells blood. Take off. Big stop by Simmons. LeBron. Here's a play for Clark. Boucher. There's an injured player. That's Peter Jacob in the corner. Well, you know, the Patriot team moves the puck very quick on offense and totally disrupts their offense with well. good four checking. Peter Jacob right there is on the screen, and Mike Simmons just said, John, that shot that was stopped by Greg Simmons might have won the game if they gone to the net. If the Patriots score another goal, this game is history, I think. The Black Hats must score the next goal to win this game. May I remind you of a game against Aramaco that was 3-1 with 10 minutes to go in the game? But I'm saying if they score another one. I agree. 4-1 is a tough one. And to be brutally honest, they both played the Black Cats for the better part of this period and a lot of you know a lot of the latter part of the first period black cats aren't aren't unlucky or anything else they've just been outgunned in this game yeah no question and something fundamentally has to change in their game plan if they're going to win this game and i i have no idea what it is what they have to do well they've had their spurts in this game john but like you suggest they've had very few good shots on the net in the last period the patriot have dominated this period no question. And they're full measure for their uh, lead of two goals. Now dumped in here by the Black Ass to the zone. Now comes up to center ice now. That's Dullison. He's checked there by Bruce Wall. He's really checked by Stewart. The puck goes to the corner. That's Wall. See, it's plays like that that I'm talking about. Wall in behind the glass. Bruce Wall just took a hack at it. That's gloved the head, apparently. That will be the call. Well, they can't complain about penalties. This no. is basically penalty free this game. They, they let the players play the game. It's been yeah. a beautifully refereed game. Yeah, that's the privilege of Glenn Hurley. And certainly, John, it's been determined on the ice. And right now, the Patriots are in command. They really are. The Blackhawks are hanging on at this point for dear life. Well, they say a black has nine lives or a cat has nine lives. There's not too many left. Now Bourgeois, or Budo rather, checking on stairs. Now Luke Cormier bumped there by Hashi. Well, Dave, a goaltender can only do so much for you. Well, you used to, uh, you said the other day that Greg Simmons is not a miracle worker. He can't be. No, so, and they're getting good shots on Simmons, too. He's an 18-year-old goaltender playing high school hockey. He needs some help? Yep. And the offense really, for all intents and purposes, is non-existent in the second period. They, they've had so few good shots on Dupuis. And on the face of that Stewart for FHS. Brent Stewart being wide so by two Patriot players. Now shot back in here by Cormier. That's offside once again. And Lama went for a bit of a spill as well. So the faceoff will be outside the zone. We're down to 242 left to go in the period. It's 3-1, Louis J. Robichon, here in game seven. Well, this is very similar, John, to game four of the Oral Muscle Series like, like you talked about. I think, though, the difference here, there and here is that FHS is a better hockey team than Oral Muscle. It just took them a while to prove it. I'm not so sure that's the case here. Yeah. And I mean, no, you know, don't in any way downgrade the Black Hats, but Lou J. Robichaud has really played well. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. They played excellent hockey. They're a heck of a team. Yep, they are fast, disruptive, a, deep shot to the corner. Now, Cormier, Tim Cormier is bumped by Stewart at center ice. Now, Hashi over here deep. A pass picked up by Legier. Just plays ahead here to Silvio LeBlanc. Went down. Stewart back here to Ashy. I had to Wishart. Wishart is bumped by uh, Luke Cormier. Now Charles Cormier just playing ahead. Stewart knocked down Jacob. Jacob has, has, he had no idea where the puck is. Now Hashi. I went off a skate. Brent Stewart bumping on Danell. Stewart once again is checked by Danell. I had here to Boudreaux. Martin Boudreaux. We'll dump it right to the Black Hat zone. Simmons will leave there for Stewart. 
Dewar will get the puck. Two center ice shot back in here by uh, Charles LeBlanc. Uh, Simmons will leave there for, Sim or for uh, Stewart. Brent Stewart with a bit of a spinorama to get by Jacob. Up ahead here, uh, Engler can't get his own. LeBlanc will keep it in. Ahead of Jacob. He feeds the point to Boucher. Into the corner to Vauture. Vauture in the corner for Louis J. Robichaud. Vauture trying to feed up front, being checked out by Hashi. Sit behind that goal, now dug out by Deep. Who gets it to center ice. And mercifully, this period's almost over for FHS. Well, they've got to go in and regroup. There's no question about it. They haven't played a very good second period, and uh, it's very telling. Bourgeois and Boudreaux have the two goals, both of them for the uh, Robichaud team. Now Foster ahead here to Lenahan. Plays it ahead here, a small off a skate. Now Boucher off the glass and two center ice. Here's a play for Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Trying to feed the way on. It's gone up for by Lenahan. Plays it ahead here to Michael Donald. O'Donnell, played by the clock. Andy Clark with small quick shots stopped by Dupuis. And that rebound hops over the stick of uh, Troy Small. That shot by Foster to the corner. That's Cormier over to Bourgeois. Oh, big hit by Foster. That's by Foster. Gets the way out. We'll take a shot to the corner. Wall. Trying to feed out front. That went to amaze the players to the point. Lejeune will keep it in. We're down to one second. And that's the period. Tell you, the way this Patriot team four checks, boys, it's going to be a tough, tough third period for the Blackhawks. 11 to 5 in shots for the uh, Patriots, and uh, I'm not surprised at all. 21 to 50. I'm surprised there's so few shots, actually. Yeah, me too. I was thinking more like about 20. Well, the shots are going to go up to 21 to 15, John. And there's no question that if Kevin Dooley has any magic left in him, it had better show here in this intermission. The season comes down in 20 minutes. Well, this Patriot team's got better and better as the uh, seasons wore on, and and I, you know, the playoff season. Well, you and I, John, have watched this Black Hat team all season long, and I can remember the Black Hats being so thoroughly outplayed as they were in the second period of this game here tonight. Well, they look in serious trouble. I mean, there's no question. They've tried everything, and nothing's worked. But if anybody, if any team can come back, we should say it is FHS. They have shown that capability before. The thing, though, that makes this Patriot team pretty, pretty scary is that not only do they play excellent offensive hockey, but they're a much better defensive team than what you first realize when you when yeah. you see them. No they, question. They play a tremendous forechecking game. Well, there's a pretty happy delegation from Shediac over on their side of the ice uh, looking to win the AAA championship, and that will be so big in Shediac, John. No question the Patriots have caught their imagination. It'll be pretty big here, too, in that big in that community of uh, Shediac. Of course, uh, no question, FHS. And as evidenced by the people here in this rink tonight, they both sides are filled. Well, if FHS doesn't score the next goal, forget it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no question. they got to be 3-2 if they go 4-1. I'm afraid that uh, it's well an uphill fight they can't win. If they go down 4-1, we might have to give Don Meredith a call, John, and yeah, turn the up party's the over. the party will definitely be over. Well, I'm not sure what's happening with Mark Jeffrey. We've got him scheduled as our guest. And uh, we're just going to wait and see here. As we pan the arena. I'm not sure really what's going on. I just see Joan Gullison now, our producer. Mark is down there, I believe. Okay, well, if we can get Mark hooked up, we'll be ready to roll here for this interview. Can you hear us, Mark? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. We don't have you on the screen, though, but we'll talk anyway. Okay. Let's talk some hockey, Mark. Uh, you I see tables everywhere here. <laughs> All right, Mark, uh, you play junior hockey, you play high school hockey, university hockey. Have you ever seen a crowd this this rambunctious here as uh, tonight? I don't, I don't think I have. Um, when, when I was high school back in, uh, I guess, the early 80s or late 70s, I, we didn't really have a crowd this large. Mark, I know uh, you're battling cable and everything else there. Uh, tell me about this game tonight. Are you surprised with the way this game has gone? 
I, I thought when I walked in the arena that uh, the advantage was uh, definitely FHS. However, um, once it, FHS scored the first goal, the, um, the um, Shediac team called the timeout, and, and it turned out to be a good move. I think it just got the, the, the players to focus on the game, forget about the crowd, um, and just get back to it, their game plan, which I think they've executed extremely well so far. There, there aren't too many options for the FHS team right now. Mark, there's a lot said about home crowd of Azure on the O. But do you think it might work against the Black Cats? But they look very tentative. They're playing very nervous. Oh, home crowds are great um, if you're used to them. But I think all year, I don't know if the crowd's been this, this big all year and this boisterous. And right now, FHS seems to be playing a little timid right uh, you know, at this, after the first two periods where the Shediac team just seemed to go out and say, you know, this is one of the variables we have to face. Let's go out and do the best job we can with it. And right now, they, they seem to be playing into, into uh, Shediac fans. Mark, I've got to ask you about the Red Devils. Uh, they had quite a season and quite a first game in Moncton, but then something sort of came apart. Uh, it's it's a funny it's a funny season. The, the university of hockey it's 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 long, but it's so short and it's broken into two halves. And uh, every team seems to take a, a a little bit of a peak and a little bit of a, going to a little bit of the valley. And we took our valley in the second half rather than the first. And I would say the last two week weekends we played as well as we had played all year. And then the game in Moncton, which uh, was well publicized, I guess, with, with the format, which uh, they've eliminated for next year already. But it was very difficult, three or four overtime periods, and to lose on one goal after playing, you know, playing well pretty much of the year. And, uh, you know, playing extremely well in Moncton that weekend and to lose on the one goal. So it was disappointing, however. But the good thing is we've had a lot of first-year kids, a lot of second-year kids, and they got to the point where they they know how hard they have to work and how competitive the, the league is and every game counts. We can go back to the one or two games that we should have won that, that would have given us the home ice advantage. Okay, Mark. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. Okay, I guess for Mark Jeffrey, the assistant coach for the UV Red Devils. Thank you for player number three in a moment. Okay, welcome back to the LBR. Dave Richard here with John Creaser. And here comes the Patreon. So they have three to one after two periods of play. In our second period, Bourgeois and Boudreau. Yves Boudreau, number four. So, John Creaser, it's been a heck of a season. You and I, you and I have had many hockey games, university, midget, and high school. And it comes down to 20 more minutes. Here come the Black Jacks. Well, the Patriots have played so well. I was the only wonder what that man right there on the screen, Kevin Daly, said to his team after the second period. They were literally dominant in period number two. Well, they were, although shots and goal were only 11 to 5, but the play was more one-sided than that. But very few, well, five shots on goal, and none of them were particularly dangerous. Uh, they've got to get in the slot more against Dupuy because they won't score on them from where they've been shooting. Yeah, no question, John. They've got to get better shots on goal, and that's the big part of the quality shots. Should mention our Cracker Jack Cable 10 crew, which has been an excellent crew for this game seven. Mitch Greencore in the truck. Anthony Bell, Tim Baldington, Peter Panette, Jason Urquhart, Todd Day, and Andy Hagerman. I'm Dave Ritchie, and I'm with John Cooper. Our producer, Joe Gullison, well, this is it. The 1991 season comes down to 20 more minutes, beginning right now. Now, Stewart up ahead to Clark. 
Well done for doing the Patreon zone. Chance for Small, quick shot, just off the roll by Troy Small. Now Legier, get bumped, set through the crease by Clark. Now O'Donnell's check, and here come the Patreon. That went off a skate. Legier, just up to the center ice, Hashi. Now Stewart has a poor FHS. Just got Hashi. Ahead to Clark, too small, back to Clark on the outside with Michael O'Donnell. Nice play, but Mike was offside, unfortunately. A little bit too cute, just by the blue line. No, it's hard to be fancy now. Well, I think you're gonna see that big number 22 play a lot of this third period, Dave. Yeah, no question. Patriot fans, they take away the home team advantage a lot. Do they ever? It is loud. Very vociferous indeed. Uh, the fans from Shediac. And I think a big part of the story. Oh, very much so. LeBlanc up here to the wall. Bumped by Stewart. Plays the head over the bourgeois. With the wear on. Bourgeois puts on the brakes. The check goal by Hashi, who's in turn checked. Over skating was Andy Clark. Clark avoids the check, but uh, DeWaron will dump the puck in behind Simmons. We'll leave there for Hashi. Hashi, good pass to Odoro, full flight. Odoro will take a left shot, top by Dupuis. Got it right at him, Dave. And Odoro full over Boucher. Oh, yeah, that's a dangerous play, even though the referees have let a lot of things go. Uh, There's a gathering of the clan in behind the goal. You just don't want to step over the line. Yeah. A penalty either way it could be disaster. Well, at this point in time, John, Michael Dahl does the black hats no good in the penalty box. He's no. got to be on the ice. And he'll play probably 15 minutes in this period. Yeah, I really should. He's been the most dominant player over the last three games anyway. Maybe more for FHS in this series. Face off to the way of Daniel Dupuis. Well, Foster's had a lot of time in this game. He's played very well. He's played very well. And I think Stewart's played pretty well. Well, that's the type of game where Foster shines, where the referee doesn't call everything. Foster likes to rock and sock a lot. He's been doing it. And on a face off, it's kicked ahead by Galston. He's had a stick held by Bujo. Kept in here by the Black Cat. That stairs is checked from behind him by Legier very effectively. Up on the boards to Jacob. He bumped up by Gullison. Now Ron Bell with a quick shot. That's blocked by Tim Cormier. And the pass goes to Jacob. Oh, some bad bounces. Now Gullison will dump it in behind Dupuis. Legier can't get his own. Kept in by Gullison. Right ahead. He's oh. fired by Jacob. That was an elbow, Dave. Uh, no yeah. two ways to go. Now sure. In oh. to go. He's spun it out. Knocked the ice by Foster. No call, though. Now Lombard will dump it to the corner. That's Legier for Louis J. Robichaud. Legier up to Jacob. He just dumps it in. Jacob is getting the bump there by Engler. It's a tough shift for number 24 for Louis J. Robichaud. Now Lanahan in behind the goal here for FHS. Lanahan will leave there for Deep. David Deep. Up to Engler. He's bumped by two New Zealanders that plays at Cormier. Plays it to Silvio LeBron. For Louis J. Robichaud, that pass to Boudreau at center ice. He's checked. Stewart just gave it to Cormier. He was checked by Wishart. Wishart will dump it to the corner. It goes in behind. Now Engelhardt took it on Blinn. That's Boudreau. Up here to Luke Cormier. Cormier now for Louis J. Robichaud. Inside the zone, Cormier will take the shot. That's deflected. In off a mesh in behind Simmons. Two and a half minutes gone. Well, John, I had five eight six. Close, but no cigar. Another loss in the 50-50 draw. The continuing saga of Dave Ritchie <laughs> and the 50-50 draws. I tell you, it's going to be a big bounty tonight for whoever is lucky enough to win it. Well, the way things have been going, it'll be somebody from Boy, Georgia. Boy, going to pack up in the press box too, John. Here a moment ago. Play just the front of that black hat best. I think I hear by O'Donnell. We'll dump it two in the corner. That's Boucher going after here for the Patriot pump there with O'Donnell, who now has the turn. He has score. What a chance here by Clark. And Dupuis is down. 
how did the clock miss that? He had that puck just in front. Good work there by O'Donnell to get the force to turn over. Then he set the puck in front and Mo had a whack at him. Clark had a whack at him. Tell you, I think this game's starting to turn around a bit though, Dave. Well, Black Hats are playing a little more aggressively and a little better right now. Daniel Dupuy, who had a, who had a, a head injury during on the mid-season point for Louis de uh, just recovering from a concussion, has been uh, stung again. Well, uh, in the head area, they're looking at him. Uh, he's been such a story in the series for Louis de Robichaud. Joe has the goaltender Dupuy. He's played so well. Yes, he has. The backup is Jeff LeBlanc, by the way. But I see, I'm looking over at the bench, and Jeff is still on the bench. You won't see Jeff LeBlanc. He's tough spot to pull a blonde, I'll tell you. Third pair of game seven, that would be pretty tough. Well, I think Ed, Ed Simmons was the story in the first three games. I think LeBlanc was the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Dupuy was the story in the next three. And in this one, too, to some degree. They love him in Shediak. Well... You heard that a moment ago, the crowd from Shediak. Happy to see the goaltender back in circulation. So there should be. That's right. Face off to his left. We're down to 16.55 left to go in the season. And on the draw, that's Clark. He had bumped up by Jacob, played him behind the goal to O'Donnell, who was... Uh, Hit there by LeBlanc. O'Donnell has it in the corner now. O'Donnell trying to feed out front. Being checked over by LeBlanc. Now Legier for the Patreon. Legier plays it. Pick a play out on the boards. And Jacob didn't oh. really see the puck that time. Now Boudreaux checking out Hashi in the corner. And that will be it. That will force a face off. Well, I'll tell you, John, there's no question. The Patriot, they don't care if they don't score again. They've no. got enough goals to win. They just got to stop the Black Hats. And on the other side, the Black Hats side, they had just, it's good to throw caution to the wind and just well, go at them. Well, they're getting to the point where they need a break. As they got against Toronto, they need a, uh, they need a break. A goal they shouldn't maybe otherwise get. Yeah, no question. Quick shot, that's off going behind. Now, kept here the point. Here's a partial break now with Stairs. Stairs will take a shot just off the goal, and Lava was dumped behind the play. And here comes the pitch on two on two. That's uh, Cormier. Quick shot, stopped by Simmons to the corner. Now, Fed in front of us, Cormier once again. A backhander stopped by Simmons off oh, the ball. What a play by Simmons. Now, Fujo feeds it behind the goal. That's picked up here by Foster, who gets it to center ice, and down the ice it goes. Stopped by Dupuy, we'll leave there for Boucher. Boucher being bumped up by Gullison. Now Boudreaux, to the point that's Flynn. Trying to see the block goes up to center right. Lenahan back here to Foster. I had to Gullison. I had to Deep. Deep makes a good move, lost a stick. Wishart. And here to Deep to Englehart. Trying to see Wishart over to the skate to Boucher. Now I'm gonna check it out, Boucher in the corner. They jostle, they both went down. They smothered, I'll tell you. They, they did everything right, John, except keep a stick. Yeah. There's the uh, activity in the corner. Just a moment ago, there's Luke Cormier. He's had a tremendous series. Talking to Dave Wishart. I think he said Howie Peters. Howie Peters is... Uh, Spear having the drive join to revive junior hockey in the city. Well, we can, you know, you can use that money for it. That's right. <laughs> Face off to the right of Dupuy. 15-19 remains. Well, they got a pretty good core of a junior team right here on the ice tonight. Yes, they do. That's something else, John, that many of these players are playing their last game here tonight for FHS and, of course, for Louis DeRubshaw as well. Wishart feeds it to the corner. Checking on Tim Cormier. Wishart plays it behind the goal. Bushball popped by Wishart. Pulled over by David Wishart. He was playing with a lot of heart. Now Wishart bumps on the way on. Engelhardt's check. 
to where uh, the whistle went down the corner. A zero pump by whistle right now. Here comes the wear on. Here comes Engelhardt. Here comes Keith. Well, this is bound to happen. Well, if any line gets it started, I think it'll be this one. Yeah. Well, wish our job was like a wild animal there a moment ago. But uh, he's just trying to get this this team generated, get this team pumped up. And if Haley's going to let them play like this, why not? Well, he's not. He's given a penalty to both players. That's uh, to wear on. And Wishart yep. going off. Well, that happened in the corner. They were jostling in the corner. Face off to the right of uh, Dupuis. O'Donnell up there once again with Clark and uh, Small, Foster, and Lenahan. Luke Cormier taking this draw for Louis J. Robichaud versus Mike O'Donnell. And on the draw, Victoria by a black hat. Foster. Can't get a shot off. Here's a break for Jacob. Jacob will take the shot. Nice save by Simmons. Boy, boys, oh boys. A great chance here by Peter Jacob a moment ago. Now O'Donnell will take the shot. Knocked down by Dupuy. Clark to the field. What they doing? They're off a skate. Right to Dupuy and Legier over top of the goaltender. Now small there. Well, I figure if the Black Hats can get one, they can get two. Yeah. That can they get one? That's the question. Well, they certainly played a lot better in this third yeah, period yeah. than they played in the second period. That was uh, to their credit. No brutal. Brutal. Well, they Dave Simmons were... just a moment ago, John. Came up big against Peter Jacob. Yeah. Well, this is no way Simmons fault this one. They don't stop that. He doesn't stop that. This game is history. Yeah. It was a play reminiscent of the one David Gunn made one night. Came from one side of the net to the other. I just can't get over the similarity between this game and Nora Monk for game four. Small. Now Boucher. O'Donnell popping out Jacob and to the ice for Peter Jacob. Courtesy of Michael Donald. Now Clark. Back in the net. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that could be the one that will get them back in this game. Michael Donald. Well, who else? At 540. Lots of time now. Well, I said this is so similar. And Michael Dahl has come to the forefront. Here's the play with a quick wrist shot past the three. And I've never seen Dahl more excited. Well, he should be. Well, that could change the whole complexion of the game because uh, they certainly come out in the third period much better than in the first two. Well, John, Andy Clark trying to get this crowd pumped up. Yeah. Now it's got to get behind them. Michael Dolan with the goal. At 540. Clark on the assist. O'Donnell from Clark. Well, we got us a hockey game now. Well, I was told one time, John, by a pretty good hockey coach, that great players come through in great games, and that's what makes them, that's what makes them great players. Well, well Michael Dahl, no, Dahl from Clark. Michael Dahl has come through in this game. He's come through the last three games. We've been the Clark and Dahl and uh, Simmons have been the three best players in this team. Yeah. In this seven-game series. Well, O'Donnell and Simmons tonight. Clark, and the other players, people like Foster, Lenahan, Stewart played very well tonight as well, John. But 22 is up to another notch, and now he has it once again. Boudreau, up ahead of Cormier. Ooh, Simmons with a bit of a shaky moment. Well, because of who wins this game tonight, John, we've been treated to a remarkable series and to a a remarkable game seven. Every game has been an exciting game. Yeah. Uh, every game in itself has been a terrific game. Well, even that 12-7 game was an interesting game. You and I talked about sometimes game sevens end up to be blown. Not tonight. This has been everything. You win one for a game seven. Yep. Tension. Lots of time left. Yep. All this tension. Cut the, cut the tension with a knife in this way now. Stewart. Head to the corner. 
Now LeBlanc, he's bumped. LeBlanc wants to go here on the Patriot. Shot by Niger goes to the corner. That's Boudreaux. Plays in the corner now, Luke Cormier. Bumped by Stewart. Second thing out here is uh, Cormier. Stewart leaves there for Dullison. Shot back in here by the Patriot. That will be offside. I'm just amazed how the players can hear the whistle. Because this place is rocky. Well, this is a pretty entertaining stop, John. Game seven. And of course, the ultimate would have a, this game going to overtime. That's from my heart. It would be tough. Donaldson's dropped by Cormier. He was checked though by Stewart. Lombard gets it off a high stick. Called by Glenn Hurley. Well, the thing that that goal does, to some degree, gets him obviously back in the game, but one goal lead, 13 minutes, you can't protect that lead. You gotta go back to playing hockey and not just trying to bar the door on the black cat. Yeah. May open the game up a bit. Well, that goal, obviously, they scored that goal early as well. Yeah. Now the play's inside his own here. That's LeBlanc over to Boucher. That went off the glass to the black cat zone. That's Hashi now for FHS. Hashi. Up along the boards, too far on the winner shot back in here by the Patriot. And offside is the call. Also, Blonde didn't wait, just shot that back in. And uh, there were some people up here, John, suggesting that face off might come down to the uh, Patriot zone. Not only if it's an intentional offside, and it wasn't. So, we're down to 13-12 uh, left to go. Stable 10 Sports doing game seven. Here tonight, a winner will win the Provincial Triple-A Hockey Championship. Boudreaux is checked. Bond had the puck off a stick now. Englehart just trying to play ahead. It's picked off here by Vauture, who's played very well here tonight. Rick Wright, they take him a quick shot off the goal of the corner. It's also offside, I think. The blow will take a shot. The flock is up by Simmons. Now Jacob, back in the bush, here's shot, deflected south by Simmons. To the corner, Boudreaux, and Jacob pumping on Mudd. Back to Boucher once again, that shot was deflected to the corner. Deep, gets it down the ice. Mudd pumping on Boucher in the corner. Here comes Boudreaux, Englehart. Then it, it's underneath the Louis de Ramsey player, he's got to have a shot there from Englehart. 27 remains. Face off to the right of Daniel Dupuis. So Donald out there again. Well, as I know, Mike Simmons has had a lot of games behind the pitch, but I've never seen so nervous as he has here tonight up here Probably in the press box. Probably the toughest game he's ever had a watch. Yeah, no question. Face off to the right of Dupuis. Go here by the Black Hats. Has a quick shot. Stop by Dupuis once again. He gets played by Michael Donald. Oh, it's a good move. A little shower for the goalie. No harm done. Now, just irritating to the goaltender. Yeah. And sometimes you can draw a penalty doing that when one of the defensemen retaliates on you for doing it. Face off to the right of Dupuis once again. They wave out uh, Small. And winning the draws, Roger Abishaw, Legier. Being checked from behind by Spano, dug out by Clark. I don't know! Stopped by Dupuis. Pucks in behind now. Donald just couldn't get good wood on that. I'll tell you, John, this week must be tilted tonight because the second period dominated by the Patriot going in this direction. And the third period, it's the other way around. Black right. has to dominate. You know, he's played really well in the last couple of games is small since they've changed the lines around. I thought he's been a better player with that line change. Face off to the right of Dupuis once again. They drop it. Control here by uh, 
the black hats to the corner. Now, Luke Cormier going after here for Louis Durabashaw, being checked there by O'Dell. Trying to dig out here a small. Now, play up the center ice. Now, Blanc will dump it to the corner. Stewart being bumped there by Silvio LeBlanc. Sitting behind the black hat goal. That's Michael Dolan on number 22 for FHS. Pass up here a small. That was redirected by LeBlanc. Right to uh, Cormier. To me, Cormier. Plays the Hugo Luke Cormier. Luke Cormier's going to be down front. And Pujo just missed it. That was redirected by Stewart, I believe. And very fortunate it was. That shouldn't be icing, actually, but it is. Well, it was redirected by Stewart, it looked like, John. Well, it was, but the uh, I've seen them say... Well, I'll tell you one thing. If that's not redirected, Pujo might have a might have a goal in the far corner because he, he was in position. That's right. We will have the players of the game here tonight. We have our trophies back in order. Men's trophies, Lux. Fish and chips. Dolphin. Over here in Lumber. They score. Well, they go. Well, go. But they're going to wave it off. It's going to be a penalty call here against the Patriot. Could be. At 840. 